Hey, we're gonna do some chicken leg quarters today out on the smoker, but I'm gonna do these a little different. I'm, I've got a recipe for a white barbecue sauce that I'm gonna share with you. I don't know if you've ever tried the white sauce, but it's kind of famous down in Alabama. Chris Lilly from Big Bob Gibson made this Alabama white sauce famous. I'm sure it's been around way before him, but they're kind of known for it, and it's really great on chicken. Um, I'll show you that recipe later on when we get to it, but the first thing, we're gonna talk about these leg quarters. Now the leg quarter is the thigh and the leg all attached, the skin still on. Uh, when I'm smoking leg quarters, I want to crank that temp up. I'm in the 275 to 300 range because I want to get the meat uh, done, but I also want to get that skin bite through. You don't want to end up with chicken skin that's soft and floppy and you bite into it and the whole skin comes off and uh, pops you in the face. That's one thing we learned when we're doing competition barbecue, that that skin is important and that's why we crank the temperature up on it. The first thing we're gonna do with these leg quarters is get them in a soak. And today I'm just using Zesty Italian dressing. It's great on chicken. You can use it on any part. Makes a great marinade. Um, these thighs are just gonna go in a Ziploc bag. Leg quarters. Just gonna go in a Ziploc bag. I've got four here today. You know how many are you? are probably gonna need a bottle for every four pieces you do. They're inexpensive, so they'll feed a crowd. And really, we just want to get some good coverage on them. You need about at least four hours in this marinade. But if you can go overnight, hey, it's even better. When I, I've done them overnight and they turn out real fine. Italian dressing really gets some flavor in there. The oil in it helps the skin look really good when they're cooking. Just kind of move them around. Get them in your fridge, but set them in a platter or something so they don't leak in case that bag wants to drip. You don't want those chicken parts all over you. We're gonna talk about the seasoning a little bit here. What I'm seasoning this, these with today is um, a chicken seasoning that I make. It's just some salt, some cayenne pepper for a little heat, a little chili powder for some color, pretty good bit of granulated garlic, and then some pepper. And I also put some accent in it. And if you're, you know, have an aversion to accent, MSG, leave that out, but it really goes great on this chicken. Let's get these marinating in the refrigerator and then we'll show you how we're gonna season them and we'll get the smoker ready here in a few hours. Okay, the chicken soaked in the marinade for four hours in the refrigerator. Then I pulled it out and just kind of shaked the excess off in the bag. I don't really worry about getting all the little pieces of peppers and onion and garlic off the chicken. It's okay, it's gonna add extra flavor as it grills. Right now, we wanna get some seasoning on it. And this is the chicken seasoning that I make. It, like I said earlier, it's salt, garlic, chili powder, paprika, and a little bit of accent in it, and that's about it. It's uh, really great on chicken, it's gonna give that skin some really good flavor. We've got some flavor from that Italian dressing inside the meat from soaking in that uh, dressing for four hours, so now we're just gonna get the outside seasoned up some. I'll try to work one hand dirty, one hand clean. So we got it seasoned now. We're gonna let it hang out here on the board until I go get the grill fired up. We're gonna be cooking about 275 today. We're looking for an internal temperature of 175 at least in the thickest part of this chicken. Stick around. Okay, we're out here at my Yoder today. I've got it fired up at 275 with some cherry pellets. Now, it doesn't matter what grill you're cooking on, as long as you're maintaining that heat between 275 and 300. So if you're on a charcoal grill, just want to scoot those coals over to one side kind of create that two zone heat and if you're on your uh, propane just about a medium temperature is going to get you right in that 275 range so just get these leg quarters on i usually start them off meat side down we'll go skin side down about halfway just want to set it first no rhyme or reason here just get them on the grill get the lid down we're gonna let it cook just want to light smoke um, chicken's delicate so it can't you don't want to get too much smoke flavor on it that's why I choose uh, cherry if you're going hickory or oak or pecan you might want to tone it back just to not don't burn quite as much because the chicken will absorb a lot of it and you'll end up with bitter tasting chicken so you want to keep the smoke light when you're cooking poultry we'll check these leg quarters in about an hour see where we are give them a flip over no need to reseason we're not basting them or anything we're just going to cook them right here on the cooker on the smoker Okay, it's been one hour on these leg quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and get them turned to the other side. You can see we're starting to get the skin tightened up a little. It's got some really good color on it. 
I want to flip them over and go skin down for this last part, kind of to crisp that up a little bit. So we're just going to flip them over. We'll start checking this internal temp on them here in about uh, 30 minutes or so. We're looking for 175. I just want to give them, give them about a 30 minutes. We'll come back and look at them, see how that skin side is doing. They might not need to stay the skin down the whole time. This is really going to crisp it up. You can see how we're starting to get some on the, the edges here where a little more heat got on them. It's looking good. That's how you want these leg quarters. So we got them flipped over, get the lid back closed, and we're just going to let them go another 30 minutes and start checking our internal temps. When we get to 175, we're going to take them off, show you how we're going to do that white barbecue sauce on them. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes skinned down, and you can see I stuck my thermopop in here. We're at 167. We want to see 175, but that's going to be plenty of time skinned down. That skin's going to be nice and crisp. So I'm going to flip these over. We're going to let them go about, it's probably going to take another 20 minutes to get them done. The smaller ones are probably pretty close right now, but they'll be okay. The thing about these leg quarters is if they get a little bit over 175, we're okay with them. But we want at least 175. That's where this dark meat chicken's done. So let's get the lid closed, come back out and check them about 15, 20 minutes. They should be ready to come off. Um, at that point, we typically put on a you know, regular barbecue sauce and glaze them, and that's fine if you want to do that. But today, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you this white barbecue sauce, and it doesn't get glazed on. It's gonna be a dunk here at the end. So. When we get them off, we're gonna go in, I'll talk about the white sauce we're gonna finish these up with. Okay, after 20 more minutes, total cook time's been about an hour and 50 so far on these leg quarters. Looking good. I just wanna check them, make sure that I'm getting that reading. It feels really good when I go in. Let's see if we're gonna hit that 175 mark. 73, 77, yeah, we're done. Check a few more, 75. I feel I can tell these little ones are feeling good. Juice is running clear. I'm gonna call these done. At this point, we're gonna get them off, take them inside, let them rest just a few minutes while we get this uh, white sauce ready to dip these leg quarters. That's not a good looking plate of chicken already. Now with that see the chicken season we put on them, these are great like this. You could have glazed them, but check out what this white sauce does to them. Okay, we're inside. The chicken has rested now for just about five, 10 minutes. It doesn't take it long. I just don't want to take it right off the grill and go to the sauce. But today, instead of using that traditional barbecue sauce, we're using a white sauce and check this out. A white sauce, um, you can buy some in the bottles. I know Big Bob Gibson is one of the brands I've seen in stores, but it's really easy to make and it's a mayonnaise based sauce. Instead of uh, you know traditional ketchup or tomato based, we use mayonnaise and the recipe will be up on the video. It's mayo, little apple cider vinegar, some salt and pepper of course, just a touch of lemon juice. And then I, just for a little extra punch, I throw in a little bit of prepared horseradish at the end. But the recipe is real simple and try it for yourself. It's really great on chicken. Now to finish these leg quarters, all you do is give them a good dump. And I know it looks a little crazy, but trust me, it is good stuff. I'm gonna plate them up here. Uh, you know that's tender, I'm gonna use my hands here. It'll be, it'll be a little messy, but hey, what's a little mess when you're doing barbecue? And there you go. We've got smoked chicken leg quarters with a white sauce. And I know it looks a little strange, but trust me, that white sauce is great. Let's give these a little taste here and see what we're working with. Just cut off this back one here. I'll cut it where you can see what the meat looks like inside. Wow, it's good stuff. With well, this white sauce, it's tangy, just similar to a vinegar sauce with that apple cider vinegar in it, but the mayo gives it some creaminess and then you get a little bit of that lemon flavor from the lemon juice and then just a punch of heat. Uh, give this a shot, man. It's, it's really good stuff on chicken, especially when you 
put them on the smoker and crank it up a little bit. So to recap what we've done today, we used just regular store-bought Italian dressing for a marinade on these leg quarters. Soaked them about four hours in the refrigerator. Put them on a pit that's 275 to 300 degrees. It doesn't matter if it's a smoker or grill or a propane grill even. Just maintain that temperature and get these cooking meat side down for the first hour. Flip them over, get the skin crisped up a little bit. Go back over for the last 20 minutes or so. The internal temperature is what's critical. You know, you're gonna give yourself two hours of cook time, but you're really shooting for 175 and the thickest part of that thigh portion of the leg quarter. Um, at the very end, we made this white sauce, dunked them in it, and it's easy as that. You've got something that's totally different for barbecue, and gotta give it to the guys in Alabama credit. They created a good sauce with this uh, Alabama white sauce. So hey, if you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on the internet, howtobarbecuerite.com. I got a ton of great videos and recipes on there. We're going to keep putting these out every couple of weeks or so. If you've got any questions or comments, send them to us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, thanks for checking it out.